What's going on guys? So I am out here in Elkhart, Indiana at the dealer open house show event. This is really cool. And man, I'm gonna tell you, we saw this thing. I mean, check this out. Everything you see up there. And we had to stop by here. Now, this isn't your traditional go to the RV store, pick up with your three quarter ton or one ton dually pickup truck and haul it home the same day. This right here is gonna require a class seven or class eight tractor trailer in order to get this where you want it to go. And once you get it to where you wanna go, you're gonna leave it there because you're gonna to wanna to tie it into your utilities at wherever you're at. So that means sewer, both your plumbing and your, and your electrical. So again, this is a destination or park style trailer. It is uh, under the RVIA code, which is really nice, which means this technically qualifies as an RV, which is super cool. Yep. But just don't be confused. It's not a typical travel trailer. It's not the stuff you see over there. This is gonna require an entirely different type of installation as well as setup and tying it in again to your utilities. Am I saying everything right there? Correct. Correct. Awesome. So we're gonna dive in much deeper. We're gonna talk about the numbers because I always talk about that right after this. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so in front of me, I got Billy, and Billy works for Great Outdoor Cottages. Cottages. So this is the product that they produce, and where do you produce your product at? Georgetown, Delaware. Georgetown, Delaware, okay. This right here is absolutely mind-blowingly cool, and I'm glad that we came from Grand Design, and then we looked at some of the American coaches, and we came over here because I've never seen anything like this before. And what I'd like you to do, just real quickly, let's talk about it, but before we talk about it, everyone's gonna wanna know, how much does one of these things weigh? Uh, roughly 28,000 pounds. 28,000 pounds, which means, oddly enough, you know, you look at some of these new heavy-duty dually pickup trucks from like Ford and Ram, they're actually rated like 29,000 pound conventional towing, which is absolutely nuts. But the tongue weight is what's gonna kill you on something like this. I can imagine the tongue weight that's gonna press down on the back of your truck is gonna be thousands and thousands of pounds. Correct, you, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend hauling it with a Ford or, or a Dodge. Perfect, so Peterbilt, Kenworth, Freightliner, Correct. right? Okay, so be sure if you call these guys and you're like, man, after seeing the video, I wanna order 12 of these, that you have the right vehicle to do it. And they're gonna tell you what type of vehicle you need, right? If Correct. somebody wants to buy one of yes. these. All right, so real quickly, what are we looking at here? What's the model number of this thing and what do you call this? So this is a 300K1 double decker. Uh, this is the very first of its kind as well. Uh, it's a 12 wide. Uh, like he mentioned, it, it is rated to a park model RV. So typically we would put these in a campground or RV resort. So and we also sell them to developers, uh, but you know, we, this unit specifically is for the retail market. So okay. mainly for seasonal sites inside campgrounds and RV resorts. Okay, so when you transport it, clearly it's gonna be higher than 13 feet, six inches or 14 feet. I'm assuming the glass panels up here come off for transport? Correct, so once okay. uh, once the unit gets on site, then obviously uh, we you know, hire a crew or subcontract it out to then install the panels uh, on site. Okay, so it's 99% complete, but then you just do some of the finishing things, basically to make sure that it was safe to tow to wherever it was going. Correct. Okay, very cool. So when it comes to power, utilities, things like that, of course you wanna be sure that you have your electrical, plumbing, and sewer all in the area so you can tie this directly in when it gets there, right? Correct, so we build 50 amp and 100 amp, and then we just do a normal three inch sewer drop like your typical RV. Okay, very yeah. good. So walk me through it, show me what's going on. Let's start with the inside, then we'll come back out and I think I have another gentleman up there that will take over whenever I go upstairs. All right. You can truly call this a two story unit, right? right. It's a double decker. So that is super eight cool. Foot, eight foot lower deck and then a 16 foot upper deck. Okay, first of all, real quick, I wanna point out some things. None of this looks like just normal lumber. Is this actual lumber or is this uh, like composite. a composite? This is all composite decking. So this is the stuff that you see when you see super high end decks. The stuff that lasts forever, essentially. Correct. Yep, it's all okay. residential, and you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay, and the on. doors here, this is all residential as well. Yes. So the okay. one nice thing I want to tell you guys is there's not one RV component inside this unit. Really? Everything that we build with, all the material, is all residential high-end stuff. You, you've just earned credibility from so many people by saying that, that everything done in here is residential, including the fact that you guys have a dual-zone mini-split. Yep, so our mini splits, uh, depending on the model, right, this one's non-lofted, so you have an 18K outside, and then you have a 7K here on the living room, and then a 9K in the living room, or a 9K in the bedroom. Also. Okay, and I'm sure they are efficient enough to freeze out this this unit. 1,000%. They're uh, fully efficient up to negative, I think, negative two degrees, I believe. Wow. So, yeah, and we actually have a subcontractor who is a professional HVAC 
uh, company come in and install them as well. Okay, very nice. So real quick, let's take a look at the living space since we're here already. That is an incredibly wide panoramic fireplace you have going on Correct. there. Correct, so that is a 60 inch linear fireplace, uh, multiple modes, uh, it actually you know, gives off real heat as well. Uh, you can cha change the color, the stones, you, know, you can set the mood. So uh, a, a multi-function fireplace. And then we move here to our full height, full size entertainment center. We use a shiplap clapboard as an accent. And then we have a 60 inch TV here, smart TV, uh, you know, to, to, to fill the room and to make it feel homey. Very nice. Looks like you have dimmers on here as well for your lighting. Correct. So this unit actually is a smart home. So we put uh, dimmers for the lights outside, the lights in here, and as well as the fan. Um, and what you do is you just connect your phone to it. And if say you're not here and you're coming down, you, you can just turn everything on through your phone and Pretty much the unit will be cool, lights will be on, ready to rock as soon as you get here. Oh, that is really cool. Residential furniture? Yep, and this is a pull-out sofa. So, oh. You don't have to pull it out, yep. I so believe that, you. That's a pull-out sofa. So you have a king bed in the back and then you have a sleeper sofa here. So this unit uh, will sleep four people. Okay, what type of flooring is in here? So this is a Lux linoleum. Um, we get our flooring off through Shaw, and it's, it's, it's the top line, top, top of the line flooring. Uh, it's scuff proof. Uh, it's it, it's it's heavy duty. It's so beautiful. You, you no, it pets, really is. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about any of that. And you know what? It actually looks like laminate flooring. It doesn't look like linoleum. It Correct. doesn't have that normal look that you see. Correct. It feels very residential. Your baseboards, your crown, it just it, it screams of a home and not of an RV. Which, like you said, you so know? we hang our hat on that. So we want when, when a customer walks in, we want them to feel like they're walking in their second house, right? Yes, it is an RV, but more importantly, it, it's a house on wheels, and and we. From, from day one, that's what we've hang, hang, uh, that's what we've hung our hat on, and we're mm -hmm. going to continue that uh, from here on out. Okay, so question for you: Do do people ever, and I'm sure "ever"s a strong word to use, but do people routinely put this somewhere and then move it to another place and then another place, or do they really put it somewhere and leave it there? So this is more for permanent. Okay. Um, again, this again, this is uh, either a seasonal site for a retail customer inside of a campground or an RV, or we sell to developers who use these as rentals. Uh, and once it gets to its end location or desired location, 99% of people leave it there for the life of the unit unless they sell it and then you know, take the, you know, the next user would take yeah. it elsewhere. But 99% of the time, wherever it's shipping to, it, it'll stay. Okay, so I do have a question because you told me something when I first came in here and I understand why you told me it. Based off of the codes that you follow, you can't really say that this is designed to be lived in as a full-time residence. I, I totally understand that. But is it built to the quality of a home that somebody could live in full time? Yes. All right. Uh, so you like how I did that, don't you? Yes. Uh, so it's built. We build them to four seasons, right? Okay. So we, we ship them to Maine, uh, Minnesota, Michigan. Uh, people use them as hunting cabins, and they're built like a tank. The amount of lumber, the fasteners, we, we do everything above and beyond, just because we want the, we want the customer, no matter where it's going, to enjoy it to its fullest. Awesome. All right, let's talk about the kitchen area. This looks like Corian. So this is a solid surface. So this is quartz. Okay. And we, we, we use no formica. Everything we use is solid surface. Quartz or granite solid surface countertops. Um, our, our cabinets are plywood built cabinets, soft closed drawers and doors. I so always like to show ones, that. When you have little ones, you, if you're scared of them slamming mm -hmm. the door or slamming the drawer, Peace of mind. You don't yep. have to worry about it. Well, and I also like the fact that you can tell these are residential because they're slotted to put shelves wherever you want them. Correct. And the, which is really and nice. the drawers, too, I want you to just notice these are all dovetail. Yep. 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 So it's all residential, high end grade material. Beautiful. I love this island. This is beautiful. I love the seating on this side. You could probably put seating on the other side if you really wanted to, but this is absolutely gorgeous. This. This is so much, I mean, you said it's 12 feet wide, right? So this is almost the equivalent of an RV with opposing slides and the slides out on both sides. But they've managed the space better because it doesn't feel like you're in an RV. It feels right. like you're in a home. This is really nice. The best way to kind of describe this is when you go to a resort and you actually are in a resort hotel room, this feels like a slightly smaller version of a resort room. It's really, really nice. You'll notice... The only reason that the ceiling is eight foot here, so we had to make a transition because that's where the upper deck stops. And then once the full ceilings start, they're 10 foot ceilings throughout the entire house. Yep, and that's the thing that also makes this not feel like a mobile home. 
Mobile homes typically have short ceilings yeah. because they have to be pulled down the road. But this right here, even though it's pulled, you still get these really incredibly tall ceilings. And again, it gives you that whole vibe of a resort. Like you're in a really high-end contemporary resort. Yeah. The shiplap, the squared off design, the, the trim around the fan, all of that screams high-end contemporary resort. I love the feel in here. This is awesome. To touch on this. Sure. One more time. Um, so we have a bunch of storage, as you can see, tons of storage in the kitchen. But another nice thing is we do a bar, a wine chiller. Oh, very so, nice. So um, just another accent of ours. If you didn't want the wine chiller, you could you could substitute it for a base cabinet. And then, like he said, the, the seating and the overhang is on the opposite side. And then I wanted to show you the base sure. on the opposite side. We use shiplap because we know people like to kick and scuff. Oh, so yeah. to eliminate that, we just add an accent, the same material that would be on that fireplace. Yep, I love all the 110 outlets everywhere. Correct. I mean, beautiful. And the kitchen, again, just is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that you're running high-end residential appliances. You have a residential. Well, and again, I mean, I, I keep saying residential, but the fact is it is all residential, so I don't need to say that anymore. You're running a microwave. You're running a stove, oven, a five burner with the longer burner in the center. This is all, it's stuff for a home. Correct. Which is really cool. So the, use, the like, refrigerator. Like you said, we use all full-size appliances. Your range hood microwave. We do gas or electric stoves. And then the Whirlpool appliance or Whirlpool uh, refrigerator yep. as well. So if somebody wanted to say, customize it a little bit and say, I really want this induction cooktop or induction stuff, can you do things like that uh, as well? We, we do like to customize a little bit. Um, it, it really all depends. Um, I'm not going to say no, but it, it just really depends what the request is and, yeah. and, if, and if we can get it. Like a higher end. Let's say somebody wants to put a, that new Samsung refrigerator with the screen on it, as long as it fits. As long as it fits, yeah. We, we, we like to work with our customers. Okay, very cool. Yep. All right. um, another vocal point in this unit is our bathroom. So this is a full tile walk-in shower. This is a doom wall product. Again, 10 foot ceilings, uh, nice 54 by 20 window up there to let in tons of natural light. Oh yeah. And the door is not hung, but this is a sliding glass barn door. Um, so again, it has a feel of a high end residential house. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, this is insanely beautiful. Um, and how tall are you? Uh, six two. Yeah, you, you look tall. Hop in the shower with me, my friend. And check this out. Plenty of room. Yeah, there's there's no chance you're going to be hitting your head. And the good thing is, is because you're the son of the... COO. Okay, son of the COO, which means that since you work for the company, it's important for you to step into something like this and make sure that doesn't hit your head. For sure. For so sure. that's awesome that when you have, I hate to say this, shorter people mm -hmm. that work for the company, sometimes they don't think of things like how tall things have to be to accommodate taller folks. For sure. 1,000%. All right. Um, again, just tons of storage, uh, a residential toilet. So we do not do holding tanks, but we can fit them for holding tanks. Okay. Um, but we do uh, residentially elongated comfort height toilets, um, just some little storage, little little shelves or like little accents. Um, and then we always like to match the backsplash in the kitchen, uh, the same as the tile in the bathroom. This is beautiful. Now, you say you don't typically do holding tanks, and I understand that because of the application, but I can understand a scenario where you can't get septic or you may not be able to get, and I guess if this is going to be out at a, a work site temporarily, mm -hmm. that's where a holding tank would come in handy, I suppose, Correct. right? 100%. And I would also imagine it's not for typical drain out. You'd probably call like a septic company to come in and drain the tank out for you, right? Uh, yeah, I would assume that would be out the field so i'm not okay. as familiar with you know with that that'd be more of a end okay. user um yeah what they want to do to deal with it so here this is where the water heater is um now one thing we we can do in this one is we can do an on-demand water heater and okay if we do an on-demand water heater we can essentially put it behind one of the closets in the bedroom and then this can become a full-size pantry or you can do a, a washer and dryer okay stackable washer and dryer great all right now this is nice. So this is um, this is not common. This is actually a king bed inside this bedroom. So typically, um, is it queen? Typically, it's queen bed. Okay. But this unit is non lofted, so it gives you a little bit more space because you lose the steps and obviously you lose the loft. But you know, on on the other side of that, you have a king bed. Yep. Um, and and plenty of storage. His and her overheads. Mm -hmm. His and her uh, nightstands. And then if you flip around this side, you have his and her closets with drawers in the middle and then your TV in between. Oh, that's kind of an example of your sidewall structure. Yes. So it's all two by construction. Correct. Wow, that is nice. You guys want residential. I mean, this is residential. and That's, that's our middle name yep. is residential. And 28,000 pounds, 28, so it, it ain't light either. Nope. 
very nice. And again, this is all real home windows. This isn't this isn't stuff you see in RVs. That right there, it's freezing me out, and I'm standing in front of it right now, so I know that it's it's yep. it's working well. Yeah, the, yeah. The word RV doesn't exist in our vocabulary. Um, so if you hear somebody say the word RV, it's just because it's built to the RV code. That yep. is it. Even though he said it like five times now, but still, <laughs> I get what you're trying to say, my friend. This is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs. You have guided me to, I think, the ending point of us. Yep. Um, I'm gonna traverse this area right here. Check this out. Is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Hi guys, what's going on? Yeah. It's like a widow's keep, is that what it's called? All right. Check this out. Afternoon. This is cool, man. Thank you. Welcome to our rooftop uh, deck where you can say rooftop bar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Yeah. Absolutely. Is this strong enough to support like a jacuzzi? Uh, it could. That, I'd have to double check. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. I, and I just thought of that because somebody's yeah. going to be like, I, I want to throw a jacuzzi a up there. I could, I could see somebody asking that. But this thing is super cool. Yeah, so it's uh, 12 wide by 15 long. Uh, it's all Trex decking, and then it's completely waterproof in the front, so your deck downstairs will not get wet. And then we have a glass railing system all around, so you have completely unobstructed views. Wow, this is absolutely insane. Thank you. All right, let me walk around here and see what I'm looking at. So imagine having this on a piece of property. Just check it out. This is so cool. If you have a piece of like a lake, out in the middle of nowhere you bought your you bought your 10,000 acre ranch in Bozeman Montana or somewhere around there and you want the ultimate super cool mobile they, I know you don't like to refer to them as, as RVs but you want a mobile living space because I don't want to call it a mobile home because it's not that yep. this would be so freaking cool to have out there I absolutely love this and this is amazing I got to give it a 10 so on my scale of 1 to 10 10 being like the ultimate. This is a 10. 10 out of 10 for sure. 10 out of 10 for sure. 10 out yep, of 10. yep. Water bottle drop. Man, this is super cool, man. You guys have, have outdone yourselves with this. I much appreciate it. Very, very cool. Thanks well, for checking this out. Well, you know, this is also cool. Let's say you have a band and you want to jam out up yeah, here. There's, and There's tons of room up here. I mean, you can easily get 8, 10, 12 people up here. I mean, yeah. full bar. We have furniture here. Is there a weight yeah. rating that you're aware of on this? my knowledge no uh, but i put a lot of credibility and life like to our plant guys I i'm sure it's, it's built to last well i know that you use two by construction so it's residential construction to yeah, build this thing we so build is residential construction i know the floor is two by eight um so the exact weight limit i i don't know but i do know that we have gotten a plant picture with all of our uh, office personnel with a good 15 16 people up here and Live to tell the tale. And yeah, and you're, and you're standing here in front of me now. Yep. Very cool. Well, I'm going to head back downstairs. I'm going to wrap this video up. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, this thing is absolutely cool. Game changing, totally different. No, it's not your traditional RV. No, you're not going to put this behind your half ton or your one ton truck. This is, uh, this is a very, very special product. And I gotta admit, I really, really like it. Okay, so before I wrap it up, I wanna talk price. All right, I'm gonna do what I did on the unit back there. We're gonna take a stab at guessing about how much this thing costs, and then you correct us if we're wrong. All right, you want me to go first or you wanna go first? I go first, I've been thinking about it. I said about 225 for the last one. I think you add the spiral staircase, a top deck like this, it's gonna be close to like 300. Okay, and my gut was between two and 300 again, but closer to the 300 mark, mainly because of the differences between this one and the one that we saw over there. Yeah, exactly. So, give us a range. You're both wrong. In the range of uh, 180 to 200 probably. Really? Yeah. Can you customize them? Like, can, can they go well over that if I want to add things to it, or is that pretty much maxing it out with everything? This one's pretty loaded with all the bells and whistles. Uh, you might be getting, you might go above a 200, but not much. 
Okay, no, that's a that's a pretty dang good bargain, honestly, for what you get. But I'd love for my viewers to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this, what you think the value prop is. Again, we're talking residential everything, RV nothing. There's nothing RV inside of this. It is all residential. The only thing RV related is that little shiny sticker you see right there that says RVIA. Anyways, guys, again, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have not had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, everyone. And we'll talk to you again very soon.